Hey, Green Ground family, it's Alvin here, your guide to the ever-twisting maze of pop culture, tech wonders, and all that glitters in the cinematic universe. Today, we're diving deep into the heart of the Alps, into a world that's both enchanting and eerily unsettling. I'm talking about the upcoming psychological horror film that's been sending shivers down the spines of festival goers and critics alike cuckoo. Imagine, if you will, the picturesque German Alps, a setting so serene, it could be a postcard until it's not. Aikuku transports us into this deceptive paradise through the eyes of 17-year-old Gretchen. She's not your typical teenager. Gretchen finds herself caught in a web of family secrets and supernatural mysteries when she moves to join her father in a resort that's anything but a vacation spot. Our story's heroine uncovers something sinister lurking beneath the resort's idyllic veneer. Guided by strange noises and bloody visions, Gretchen's investigation leads her to a shocking discovery that hits closer to home than she could have ever imagined. And at the center of it all is Mr. Koenig, her father's enigmatic boss whose intentions are as mysterious as the resort's dark corners. What makes Cuckoo particularly intriguing is its cast. Helmed by the rising star hunter Schaefer, known for her emotionally resonant performances, and Dan Stevens, whose versatility spans from period dramas to high-concept sci-fi, the film promises an explosive combination of talent. Under the direction of Tillman Singer, a filmmaker who's quickly making a name for himself in the horror genre, Aikuku is not just a film, it's a cinematic experience woven together with threads of suspense, horror, and an unflinching exploration of human emotions. But Kukukum isn't just a feast for the mind. It's a visual banquet too. Shot on 35mm film, it harks back to a tactile, grainy texture that digital just can't replicate. This choice isn't just aesthetic. It's atmospheric, imbuing every frame with a sense of depth and gravitas that digital films often struggle to achieve. The German Alps, with their breathtaking beauty, serve as the perfect backdrop for this story, juxtaposing the horror that unfolds with the tranquility of nature. Now let's talk reception. Since its premiere at the Berlin International Film Festival, Taco Huica has been on a roller coaster ride of critical acclaim and critique. It's a film that doesn't shy away from polarizing opinions, landing a score that speaks to its divisive nature. Some hail it as a fresh take on psychological horror, while others yearn for it to embrace its B-movie potential. Yet amidst these debates, one thing remains clue. A Cuckoo is a film that demands to be experienced, to be dissected, and yes, to be debated. But beyond the scares, the performances, and the cinematic craftsmanship, Kakukas asks us to consider the very nature of horror. Is it merely the shock of the unseen, or is it something deeper, something rooted in the very essence of our familial bonds and personal demons? As Gretchen peels back the layers of her family's secrets, we are invited to reflect on our own hidden fears, the ones we keep locked away, out of sight but never quite out of mind. So Green Ground family, as we eagerly await Cuckoo's wide release, Let's ponder this what makes a film truly terrifying. Is it the jump scares, the gore, or is it something more profound, something that lurks within us all, waiting for the right moment to surface? I can't wait to dive into this discussion with you, to hear your thoughts, theories, and yes, even your fears. Before you go, don't forget to engage with us in the comments below. What are you most excited to see in Kaku? Are there other films that have haunted you long after the credits rolled? Like, comment, and subscribe to keep up with all the cinematic conversations here at Green Ground. And for more details on everything we've discussed today, take a look in the description below or drop us a question in the comments. Till next time, keep your eyes wide, your minds open, and your hearts brave. This is Alvin signing off.